And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome television personality, Savannah Crisley. Good evening. 726-00019 and 726-01019. These may be just numbers to you, but to me, they're my whole heart. These numbers are my parents' identification numbers in our federal prison system. My name is Savannah Chrisley, and you may have seen my family on TV, but for the past decade, we've been consumed with a different kind of drama. My family was persecuted by rogue prosecutors in Fulton County due to our public profile. I know, Fulton County, <laughs> they know how to do it, don't they? Due to our public profile and conservative beliefs, they accused my parents of fraud when really we were defrauded by a dishonest business partner who, let's not forget, the government gave full immunity to. We suffered warrantless raids and harassment. One of the officials even had my father's face on a dartboard in his office. My parents were sentenced to a combined 19 years. I know. <laughs> and let me tell you, I got custody of my brother and sister, 10 and 16 at the time. And you don't know heartache until you look two children in the eyes and say, I don't know when mom and dad are coming home. I'll never forget what the prosecutor said in the most heavily Democrat county in the state before an Obama-appointed judge. He called us the Trumps of the South. <laughs> Yeah, hey, it's fun. He meant it as an insult, but let me tell you, boy, do I wear it as a badge of honor. We live in a nation founded on freedom, liberty, and justice for all. Justice, it's supposed to be blind, but today we have a two-faced justice system. Just look at what they're doing to President Trump. All while, let's face it, Hunter Biden is roaming around free and attending classified meetings. Oh, and let's face it, look at what they're doing to countless Christians and conservatives that the government has labeled extremist or even worse. Meanwhile, the Democrats are releasing actual violent offenders who have hurt innocent people. A lawyer of mine, Brett Tolman, who's a former U.S. attorney, he told me about a plaque that hangs in the Department of Justice, and it reads, the hallmark of fairness in the administration of justice is consistency. The only thing consistent about Democrat justice is how they consistently punish their enemies. That's not justice. Look at what they've done to Steve Bannon. I mean... The man should be at home. Proverbs 24, 16 says, For though the righteous fall seven times, they rise again. But the wicked stumble when calamity strikes. It's about time we start seeing people stumble. We need to rise above the persecution. We need to hold rogue prosecutors accountable. There should be no immunity. We need to expose the Democrats' corruption, and better yet, the Biden family's corruption. And guess what? I know just the man for that job. Donald J. Trump has only one conviction that matters, and that is his conviction to make America great again. Thank you, and God bless America. Ladies and gentlemen, the mayor of Dallas, Texas, Eric Johnson. Four years ago, 
progressive activists stood on my front lawn with the stated goal of intimidating my family. They wanted me to defund the police. I said no. <laughs> Folks, I grew up in high crime neighborhoods. What we wanted was more and better policing, not less. As mayor, I knew we needed to increase support for our police department and prioritize violent crime reduction. I'd been a Democrat my entire life, albeit a conservative one. But when those activists tried to scare my kids, my fellow Democrats were silent. It was Republicans who offered their support, both privately and publicly. Party affiliation didn't matter. They cared about doing what was right. Today, I'm the proud Republican mayor of Dallas, Texas. the largest, the largest city in the United States led by a Republican. I wanted to say I didn't leave the Democrat Party because they left me first, but the truth is, on matters of public safety, the Democrats were never actually there for me for Dallas families, or for the American people. With their words and their actions, and sometimes with their silence and their inaction, Democrats in power demonstrate they don't care about stopping the killers or the thieves who terrorize black and brown communities. They don't care about securing our border and they don't care about dangerous homeless encampments. No, the heart of today's woke Democrat Party is with the criminals, not with their victims. Democrats are good at using safe words, but terrible at building safe neighborhoods and safe cities. But there is a better way. Dallas bucked national trends and achieved a remarkable three straight years of violent crime reduction. Today, Dallas is viewed as America's safest large city, and Republicans lead 11 of the top 15 safest cities. And that's because Republicans won't be silent about public safety. Folks, let's make our city safe again by supporting Republicans who will stand up and fight for our safety. That's my focus as chairman of the Republican Mayor's Association. And you know what else? Together, Let's make America safe again by retiring Joe Biden and electing Donald J. Trump. Thank you.